Hey everybody, thanks for checking in today to our 40 days of prayer here at Next Level Church. I'm Chris Denny, the Central Next Steps pastor, and we are just honored that you are here with us participating in these 40 days of prayer, and we are seeing God grow us up in faith as we trust in him in new ways and pray together. Today I get a chance to share with day 12 from the passage in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, where Jesus says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Jesus is brought uh, by his disciples a, a child that, he, that, that they were unable to uh, pray healing from a demonic possession, just a, an extreme circumstance, and, and they were struggling with that. And Jesus reminds them that it is the size of their faith that, that moves mountains in, in this case. And so often people focus in this passage on the size of the seed, but Jesus didn't want his hearers focusing on the size of the seed, but on the potential of the tree. The tree, however, takes years to become a net producer of seed. And so the idea Jesus was saying was, there are certain prayers, power in prayer, sometimes only comes to fruition in waiting. And the truth is for most of us, most of us would actually prefer a quick no from God than an, than an indetermined wait. And so we have a sense of, I, I would rather you just tell me no, God, than to make me wait. And yet, the reality we understand Jesus saying is that faith that waits has the power to move mountains. He didn't say that the mountain would move instantly or immediately. And so when waiting is hard for us, the answer that we look for from God um, will, will we keep planting seeds of faith daily while we watch the mountain move, even if the move is more of an erosion than an explosion? Like if it takes some time, are we willing to wait? Are we willing to trust God every day, even if the mountain doesn't move immediately? And I hope and pray that that's where you are today. I know that for some of us, the needs that we feel right now are pressing. They're huge. We need a mountain moving kind of work from God. And the question that, 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 that Jesus prompts in us is, will you trust me every day that I am moving mountains? Even if you don't see every moment of it today, will you trust me to move this mountain in the way that I choose? So will you wait on me? And so if you're, if you're waiting today, if there's a need you've been waiting for God to move in, one of the things I would encourage you in is let's see today what God has already done and believe that he's continuing the process of bringing hope and the answer that we're, that we're longing for. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I know that today there are so many of us and we see uh, the challenges that, that, uh, that the world presents with us. Some are, some are health challenges, some are, are, are need challenges, some are, are, are physical needs or emotional needs, spiritual needs. Some, some of us, we have family members who are far from you and, and the, the longing of our heart is for an instantaneous answer for a, for, a, for a fast move that our faith would move your heart. And God, we know that our, our faith does move your heart. But today, I pray for those who feel like that they've been waiting and they are not sure that they have the strength to wait any longer. God, I pray that you would remind them from the, the, the passage in Isaiah that, that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. God, that you're renewing something in them day by day as we wait patiently on you to continue to bring the answer and the hope that you desire for us. God, I pray for every person who's listening today. There is a, there's a, a trust that, that can be raised up, a faith that can be raised up because of who you are and because of what you want to do. And so I pray today that, that every person under the sound of my voice would just feel your work in their life today. You would feel your favor, would feel your blessing, would feel hope renewed, would, would feel faith restored. And it, that, that as we see you continue to move over these days, God, that, that our joy would be complete because we know that we've seen you draw near to us in them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, hey, we're thankful that you are a part of this journey. We, we want to encourage you to continue praying that this 40 days is not just, not, not just a, a, a moment in time, but really are a movement that God is doing day by day. And we want you to lean into that each day. Invite others to join you on that journey. We just believe that God's answers for you are going to be more than what you can ask or imagine. And we're believing that for you and with you. Thanks for checking in today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.